Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome children to your Sira time, your story time. Today we are going to go through the event or the miracle of when the moon split. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had returned to his home in Mecca with Mutim's protection. That was good. Sometime before the Taif incident took place, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had gotten married to a widow lady from amongst the early Muslims and she now became the mother of the believers too. Her name was Soda radiallahu anha. She had taken up the responsibility of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's home. One day, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam received a message from the pagans inviting him to the Kaaba. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam got excited, hoping that the Quraysh had perhaps decided to listen to him. Finally, as he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam joined them and the conversation began, the Quraysh started talking in the same old way they used to. They might have thought they were very smart as they discussed the miracles of the previous prophets this time. They talked about the miracles of Prophet Musa salam and Prophet Isa salam. Now they looked at Muhammad وسلم, and asked him to show them some miracle to confirm he too was a prophet of their kind. This is stated in the Quran too in Surah Al-Isra verses 90 to 93. They said, We shall not accept your message until you cause a spring to gush forth for us from the earth. Or that there be a garden of palms and vines for you and then you cause rivers to abundantly flow forth through them. Or cause the sky to fall on us in pieces as you claimed. Or bring Allah and the angels before us face to face. أو يكون لك بيت من زخرف أو ترقى في السماء ولن نؤمن لرقيك حتى تنزل علينا كتابا نقرأه Or that there come to be for you a house of gold or that you ascend to the sky, though we shall not believe in your ascension to the sky until you bring down a book for us that we can read. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was hoping they would change and wanted them to accept Islam, but had no strength to produce miracles on their demand. So he وسلم, requested by praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to perform any of their desired miracles. In the Quran, in Surah An'am, verse number 109. It is said, they swear their strongest oaths by Allah 
that if they were given a sign, they would believe. In the Quran, they could be seen as a strongly promising group of people who said that they would definitely change if their wishes came true and only if their wishes came true. Jibreel alayhi salam came with a message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asking to make a choice. The first choice was that the pagans would be given one of the signs they asked for on one condition. If they remained unbelievers after seeing the sign, they would be punished. The second choice was that they would not be shown the signs they requested, but the door of repentance and mercy would remain open for them. The Prophet wasallam, being a mercy to mankind, decided wisely and sincerely that repentance, that is saying sorry, would be better for the people than listening to the people's demands which could get them hurt in future. Prophet wasallam, always approached with his people's benefit being important trying to avoid getting them into trouble with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But they did not see this or understand this. They thought he, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was not what he said he was. So they continued to mock at him. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam again prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show them a sign. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed the moon splitting sign. The Quraysh were asked to look up into the sky and the moon was split to either sides. That's into two halves. In the beginning, the Quraysh were certainly taken aback and amazed. But then on second thought, just as thought, they went back on their word believing it to be magic produced by the Prophet wasallam, making the people think it had happened when it really hadn't happened. They said, maybe Muhammad wasallam has put a spell on us, so let's wait until some travelers traveling tonight arrive in Mecca and ask them if they saw it too. They waited for any travelers to reach Mecca. Then they went and asked them if they had seen any such happening. It had been quite a shock for everyone. Nothing like this had ever been seen or heard of. A group of people traveling towards Mecca had witnessed it and were surprised too, wondering how it had happened. So they said they had seen it. Now there was no doubt about it. But the Quraysh stubbornly clutched to their disbelief and did not change. Astaghfirullah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was right when he said that they would not change, isn't it? So let's see what happens next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.